Butterfly in the sky I can go twice as high Take a look It's in a book A reading rainbow In there as well. No, darling. It's not pomegranate. What do you actually think it is? Give it another guess. Oh, it's a grapefruit. Yes, there we go. I don't know my fruits. When is it my turn to be happy? I can bark on command too. I the cops do the best they can. They pull the axe out your face and say, Was it the boogeyman? By the hole in the satellite picture The ice we skate is getting pretty thin The water's getting warm so you might as well swim My world's on fire, how about yours? That's the way I like it and I'll never get bored No, you're black. I mean, arguably, that's the least objectionable thing about that solution for me. So. This is a list of five things that I deem as ableist. Buckle up because things are about to get controversial. Number one is my puppy Elphaba. Uh, a couple months ago, I was in bed with her and she started to hump my leg. And because I couldn't move, I just kind of had to take it for a minute there. And I will never forget that she knew what she was doing. Number two, we have the Constitution. Not only is it ableist, but it's kind of cringe. The fact that they sat down and wrote this with a pen, nerds. Speaking of the United States, number three, we have the National Anthem. Whenever I'm at an event and they say, please rise for the National Anthem, and I'm just sitting there like, for sure ableist. Number four, and in keeping with this theme, we have Captain America. I have no proof that he's ableist, it's just kind of a gut feeling thing. And finally, number five, we have any sort of DIY project. Uh, what do you mean do it yourself? Why are you getting snappy with me? Just help me. I can't. You're charged with high treason, Tank. Are you guilty or not guilty? Guilty? But don't you know you might have killed her? Tinkerbell? I think it's really stupid when people say, like, bring back bullying. Um, but here's what I will say. I miss when bullying was simple. When I was 13, it was like, oh, you're weird and, like, sort of ugly. I'm gonna call you a loser. But now no one wants to feel like a bad person for calling someone a loser or risk being called a bad person. So now it's like, oh, you're weird and sort of ugly. Uh, you seem like a pick-me. Uh, you have internalized, uh, misogyny vibes. You're a uh, fuck, you're uh, aphobic. Or the worst and most lethal, you seem creepy or you have off vibes. And I think that's actually why I hate it when people say bring back bullying because like bullying still exists. It's just like maybe worse now. this representation that if you want representation make it yourself okay what uh yeah i'm producing this movie it has a lot of people of color in it queer people women what about me what about you it sounds a lot like you're talking about people like you what what about me you're already represented in media you just told me to make my own so i'm making my own no what do you mean, no? I don't like it! It, it! it makes me uncomfortable! How is me making my own media 
making you uncomfortable. Because I am uncomfortable when things are not about me. That's what the mask is. That's what the point of the mask is. But you gotta learn the rules and shit, there's a lot. Like, never do heroin and never do meth. Never go to parks below sunset. Never drink anything below 10 grand. Never suck dick unless the money's in his hand. Oh, they is plural. You can't use they, them pronouns if you're one person. I go to Princeton. Let me show you. I go by they over them pronouns, right? The thus cancel out. That's Y over M, your mom. Que tú me tienes temblando de noche y de día. Actual conversation I had with a kindergartner. Wow, you must really like rainbows. Actually, yeah, I do. I really do love rainbows. I think they're so pretty. They are really pretty. You know what else I noticed? What else did you notice? I noticed that people who wear rainbows tend to be really happy. Yeah, I can definitely see that too, bud. Like my uncle, he wears a lot of rainbows and he's like one of the happiest people I've ever known. That's amazing. I like to think of myself as being pretty happy too. So you keep doing your rainbows because it makes me happy to see you happy. Why, thank you. I definitely will. Be transgender! Be transgender! Welcome to my computer show, I'm Mars Argo. Killian, what's your stance on neo pronouns? Neo pronouns aren't real. Neo pronouns aren't grammatically correct. I'm Native American and Two Spirit. If you think that I have any fucking respect for colonial gender or the English language, go stick a cactus up your ass. Anyways, Neos, fuck yeah. Smash. We like tank tops. We like Instagram likes. And we smashing your check. We are light skin. And we, we can, can help you. <laughs> Holy fucking smokes, dude. My cut is insane. Shout out to my barber, dog. Yes! 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 Gender affirmed. Wow, when you use the word biological like that, it makes you sound like a scientist. You must know what you're talking about if you're using a five-syllable word. Where did you learn that? Did you learn that in high school? Did you see that in a Twitter comment? Did you read that in a book? We all know you haven't fucking read a book about this. So you're not a biologist. Oh, you are a biologist? Because we all know that all biologists, once they get their degree, they just know everything about biology. 
I would love to read your peer-reviewed studies on sex determination in human beings. You don't have any peer-reviewed studies on sex determination in human beings? You haven't researched it? You mean to tell me your understanding of sex and gender isn't based on your own personal research? Wow, I'm so surprised. You know, I also learned that boys have pee-pees and girls have wee-wees when I was five years old. My thinking has developed a little bit more since then, but probably because I read. But I'm sure you got your information from a knowledgeable source. You wouldn't talk out of your ass about something you haven't bothered to learn, right? Okay, so your understanding of this topic doesn't come from any research at all. You sound so smart. Thank you so much for talking about shit you don't know about. You're spreading completely accurate information. And the best part is your little ego trip leads to the suicide and murder of trans people. Thank you so much for enabling the death of human beings who are just trying to live their lives. You are a service to society. Ooh.